Hello guys, Mars Freemans here. This year's Game Developer Conference came with a ton of news and one-click animation retargeting is one of them. So I decided to update my old Mixamo animation retargeting video, which is actually still relevant because it's still gonna help you to fix some tweaks if animations are not retargeting properly. But let's just dive into it and I'm just gonna show how I'm gonna set it up and gonna retarget animation. So we're gonna start by going into Mixamo and we're gonna start to setting up the character. So here, it really comes down to the testing out what works best for your current animation and the character that you want to target to. So here you can just simply leave the Y bot if you want, but as mainly I'm retargeting all my animations, the meta humans, then I usually use either the mannequin or other option is passive marker man. Those are usually two options that you use for meta humans, but you can try any. Because it again probably depends from your body type and maybe doesn't make any impact at all. I don't know. So after that, we're just gonna go to animations and we're gonna search just for idle animation. So let's find this just the standing idle animation. And then we can go to the downloads. And we're gonna choose FBX with skin 30 frames. And we're just gonna download it. And now after that, we can download the animations that we actually want to use. Uh, for example, like let's search for some kind of like dancing animations. Let's download this one. And since we already download with the skin, now we can just download the animations itself. And then we can download also some fighting animation. For example, let's download this fireball animation. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to rename this idol to whatever character you use. So you kind of like, if you're using different kind of characters from Mixamo, so you can kind of differentiate it. So I'm just going to call it Mannequin Mixamo. And then we can open our Unreal Engine project. So this works only for 5.4. So let's create a new folder. Let's call it Mixamo. So we're going to have a character and then we're going to call it Mannequin. So we're just going to import this, skeletal mesh, make sure the skeletal mesh is ticked in, then import mesh, uh, and then we can just import. And our character is here. Let's make sure. Yes, our Mixamo character is imported. So next thing we can do is we can go back and create a new folder. We're going to call this animations. Animations. Now we can grab these two fireball and hip hop dancing animations. And now we can choose, we can find that Samo mannequin skeleton and import all. And we can see the both animations are here. Let's open it up, make sure, yep, everything is great. So now all we have to do is let's say we want to retarget this fireball animation, make right click and let's click retarget animations. So give it a second and the retargeting window gonna appear. So the new window appeared and here we just need to select the skeleton that we wanted to tar retarget to. So for example, we want to, uh, let's let's retarget to Manny. So let's choose the Manny. So it's gonna restart the window since we changed the character that we wanna use. And let's choose the fireball animation. And look at that. And also we can check the dancing Let's choose the fireball. So here, one thing I recommend for you to do is before we are exporting animation, export retarget asset too, because that's gonna create that retargeting rig that we used to use in all the tutorial. Make sure to check that too, in case if you need to make some fixes. And so we're just gonna go to Mixamo. So we're gonna click export retarget assets. Um, so we're gonna go here and I'm gonna create a new folder and I can export there. And as we can see, it exported that IK rig and retargeter that we used to do before. And now I can also, and now I can click export animations. Let's create called animations, leave default settings and export. Let's make sure and bam. Now we have animation fully exported. And if we want to do for another one, we can just go back again. And you can export multiple animations 
so you don't need to export one by one, but let's do that. Let's export the other animation too. We can open it up and it works great. And as I said, like if there is some kind of issues that for example, if animation doesn't look good, we can go always to retargeter. So let's move the character a bit here. And it has done all the mapping and everything already for us. So we can just check the fireball, right? And we can make fixes in case if we see like some kind of weirdnesses with fingers and all that, if it's necessary. But currently all these animations look, they work quite well. And I don't see actually anything weird in fingers and all that. So it works pretty well. But you can always just make fixes and export exactly in the same way as we used to do before. Only thing is we don't need to make the chain maps anymore. It does everything for us. And just to double check that it works also with meta humans. So we can go back to animations. Let's go to retarget animations. And let's choose normal body. So obviously it's, you're not going to have like... It's just the body, so currently my this one doesn't have the full body, but that's completely okay. Um, let's select both animations so we can export as a batch. Export animations. Uh, let's just create again here. Uh, I'm gonna create folder. Let's just call it image on him and export. And bam, we can see that it also exported an MetaHuman animations. Looks great. And we can also check the fireball. And we are ready to make next Dragon Ball Z movie. I hope this tutorial helped with your project and see you in the next one. Bye.